working with businesses, brands, and individuals for over 10 years, trying to help them get on to the path of social media. And I remember way back in the olden days having to fight and scrape and scrape and explain to people over and over again like why social media is so important and so relevant to your business. But we're in a modern era where social media is just the foundation of what we do and how we make things happen. So in this video, I'm gonna break down for you the benefits of social media and make sure you stay tuned to the end where I'm gonna give you some tips to help you get started on making sure this is set up right for you. Hi, my name is Desiree, and if you're looking to grow your business with better social media and content marketing, take action now. Hit that subscribe button and the bell below. Now, before you do anything in social media, the number one thing you need is a content marketing plan. That's why you're going to go grab my free content planning worksheet that I have for you down in the description that's going to break down for you super easy everything that you need to know to get an effective content plan in place. Now, when we're talking about the benefits of social media, the first thing that I want to encourage you to really consider like why you need to do this is it's going to be a place to share your message. This is where your purpose is gonna be clear, where your objectives are gonna be clear, and you're able to connect with an audience based on who you are and what you're about, and, and the purpose of which this social media existence really is. Now the purpose of all of my social media is to help you grow your business with better social media and content marketing. But the objective, like why I'm trying to do this, is to make sure that you know how much work and time goes into doing all these things. And ultimately you're like, you know what Desiree, you're the expertise and you definitely have an awesome team in place to handle this. Why don't you just do it for me? And our do it for you services step in. Now to get to that place for yourselves, it's very important to make sure that you're using your social media to share your message and give value to people along the way with your ultimate objective being whatever your service or product is being purchased and consumed. That is really what I think is one of the best benefits of using social media for business. And I have felt this way the entire time that I have been doing this. Additionally, one of the other benefits I like that goes in tandem with sharing my message and purpose is I get to communicate with my target audience. When I am doing my job right, when I am when I am giving the right information, I'm attracting the people that I want into my funnel so that I'm able to help them and, and help them accomplish what they're trying to do, which is why you are here watching this. I want to be able to communicate with you this message and I want you to communicate back with me through comments, likes, and shares. And these are the things that I can't get any other way. I'm able to get people who've never heard of me, that live nowhere near me, who, I'm, who are struggling with something and I'm able to solve their problems with my solutions and we're able to build a relationship digitally which ultimately can get more for both of us throughout the course of how we do things online together. Social media is designed to connect with people. Like everything about it is geared towards finding the right things, the right pages, the right businesses, the right messaging and getting it in front of the person that matters most. So connecting is what social media is really all about. Another benefit is it keeps your digital lights on. How many times do you go to Google to look up a solution or ask a question or figure out like a service in your area? Like, like you go to Google and you search plumber in your city here and it pulls up a list of all of these different businesses. Now the first thing you're gonna do is go see like what their Google reviews are and click their website. But a lot of people now are turning to social media to see if they are still in business. They'll go to Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, LinkedIn, and they'll be like, okay, what are these people saying? Who are they connecting with? What are other people saying about them? Like, do they have a presence? And by keeping those digital lights on, by having a steady presence, sharing your message, it tells those people, okay, these people are active and popping and they're going to go down the rabbit hole of continuing to do business with you. So if you don't have your digital lights on, you're probably not gonna get that kind of business. So make sure that you're using social media in that regard as well. Again, by having a regular plan so that you're able to execute your objective and mission so that you're able to then connect with people. You, you see how we're doing this here? Now by doing all of these things, you're going to establish yourself as an authority in your field of expertise, which is another important and I think valuable benefit of using social media. I have established myself as a social media marketing expert because of how I am portraying and giving value and information on the internet. And that is what you need to be doing as well. And that's what social media will do for you. It's not only going to establish you as an authority, but it's also going to make you the go-to resource for anything that those people need when it comes to your area of expertise. Now, while you're on the path of sharing your mission and connecting and establishing yourself as an authority, 
there's something that's going to happen naturally and that's going to be customer support. This is where people are going to come to you, usually in the DMs and ask you questions that you need help with or, or ask for more information about your services or how to solve some specific problem. That is where customer service is going to be really important for what you're doing with your brand and your social media online. If you don't factor in a plan for commenting and engaging with the people that you are having conversations with, you might as well not be on social media. And I know that seems counterproductive to everything that we're talking about, because if you're not online, then you probably aren't in business or people are gonna think that way about you. But if you're not investing your time to interact and engage with people, like what's the point? It's definitely like this catch 22 cycle of viciousness that kind of sucks. But I really think that it's in your best interest to make sure that you have some sort of alert or someone that monitors what's happening with your social media so that you can be available to engage, answer questions, and hopefully lead people into your services. Now, what's really great about having an online presence is that a lot of other people, and I mean a lot of other people, are communicating on the internet. And that is when word of mouth is going to step into play and be a fantastic benefit for you. How many times are you just scrolling through Facebook or Instagram and someone's asking a question like, how do I find someone that does this thing I need? Like for example, hey, I'm looking for a contractor to help me create my new office which is how this happened, by the way. And, and then people comment back and say, hey, you wanna check out this person or this person or this person, and they'll either share a website or they'll tag them on social media, giving you that lead, that answer, that service. So if I'm the person in need, I have a person to contact. If you are that business, you have someone that you need to contact to close that business because word of mouth is going to be one of the best things that can happen. But if you're not making it easy for people to share you with their audience, then you're going to run into some complications. So that word of mouth is going to leave referrals and it's also going to lead to reviews. Now, a lot of social networks don't have a spot to leave reviews, but the biggest one that does have a review option is Facebook. Very similar to like Google reviews or, or Yelp or something like that. Facebook allows for people to leave a five to one star review and a comment or photo on your existing Facebook page. This is really beneficial, again, when people are tagging your business and, and sending you referrals, they're able to go see what do other people have to say about this, and then they go step into it. And when people can see other people leaving you good word of mouth, they're more likely to work with you. Now, everything that you do in business, and I will be the first to tell you and to, to preach this, is that we are here to make the money. We are in business for a very specific purpose and that is to solve people's problems with our solutions that people pay for. Again, I'm here to help you grow your business with better social media and content marketing, but how I make money from you is, well, hopefully someday you sign up for my do it for you services, or I have like tools and links and digital products that you can buy that help you with all of those things. I am not going to pretend that your business exists on the internet to just give away the milk for free. Eventually, I want someone to be buying that cow from you. I like your cow. So that you're able, <laughs> that sounds super weird. I want everything that you're doing on social media to be converting business and leads for you. So it's important to make sure that you are set up to sell your products and services online. There are a lot of different tools and, and add-ons and things that you can do within Facebook and Instagram very specifically to sell products and services with like a Shopify page or the shopping feature in Instagram. Whatever those are, take the time to set those up if you have a product. And if you're a service-based business, you can also add that in on your pages as well. Don't think for a moment that social media isn't about selling. Social media is about giving value to people that are consuming your content who in turn give you their money in exchange for something. It might take some time, but eventually you can get almost anybody in your social following to spend money with you in some way, shape, or form. Now, one of the easiest and fastest and most effective ways of using social media is with online advertising. The Facebook targeting is so truly amazing. You can find literally any person based on any interest or demographic piece of information with their tool. With over 2 billion people on the Facebook and Instagram platforms, it just makes sense. People are just giving away information about them based on the activities and the things that they're doing interacting with on the platform. Like on Facebook, if you like someone's post about like babies, they're gonna start feeding you more baby stuff. If you say that you got engaged, people are gonna be like, okay, all of the advertisers that want engagement people like let's push the our wedding dresses and our venues and all these other things to them like the more that people talk about things and engage interact with conversations on these social networks the more advertisers have to find the exact perfect 
targeted audience for your products and services. A lot of people view as advertising is really invasive. When in fact, as a consumer, I would much prefer to get targeted for things that I would actually want or buy or be interested in versus something really general and broad. I remember growing up in the 90s and early 2000s and seeing commercials yes, commercials, where people would sell things and it wouldn't really make sense for what's happening there. Like if I'm watching Dawson's Creek, why is there an advertisement for Viagra? Like this is literally a show for teenage girls. So like it doesn't make sense why those things would be connected. And in today's modern advertising, I feel like it's so much better. And definitely 1000% the most beneficial audience for this is you, the business owner. And of course, as a happenstance to using advertising, you're going to generate leads. Now, the benefit of using lead generation with social media isn't just in paid. If you're using your messaging right and you're giving the right value correctly, you're gonna get leads naturally to what you have to offer. This is usually done through like an email exchange. So like I'm gonna give you value and send it to you in an email and then you're, I'm gonna be able to communicate with you on a continuous basic continuing to give you value and hopefully leading to some sort of financial exchange between us because you just love what I have to say and how I've been helping you and in turn like here take my money because you can solve this problem for me shut up and take my money so based on all of these benefits what is it that you can do to get started and make sure that you're using social media effectively like right away so here are some of my tips to help you get started on this transition first things first update everything I'm talking get your messaging super clear, make sure you have a really killer cover, your profile pictures are all of the same, your descriptions and abouts are all the same, your websites work correctly, everything on the about pages, everything about you that's on there, every visual that's there, update it so it's current to what you have going on and everything works. This might also include like setting up a store, putting your hours in and so much more. Take the time to do this because this is something you kind of do like annually, but the biggest set of it is right at the beginning. So don't miss that opportunity by having outdated information and an inconsistent brand across your social networks. Next, you wanna have a posting strategy. Again, I know I keep talking about this content planning thing, but it really is vital to your success. Now, Facebook recommends that you post every single day on social media at least once. And I think that there is something to be said for that because there's so many opportunities for people to miss your content. Like you could post on Monday and someone sees it, but then if you post Tuesday, Wednesday, they could miss it because of they're on at a different time or something else is happening with their feed or the algorithm isn't servicing it to them for whatever reason. And then Thursday, they're gonna see it again. So by keeping that active presence, it's gonna be really effective for you. But you wanna make sure what you're posting is going to work for you. Again, back to our first benefit, which is purpose and objective. You wanna make sure that that all ties in together and my planning worksheet, that you can grab for free down in the bottom is gonna help you walk you through it. And it's just a one page where you can keep printing off over and over again. Once you've updated your information and you start posting, it's important to take some time to study your analytics. Your analytics are gonna break down for you things like who is following you, what is the best time to post things, what kind of content am I creating that is working really well, and really give you snapshots in seven and 28 day increments to let you know like what is and isn't working and where you could probably like put a little bit of ad dollars in to help boost things that are or help you find the things that you should be doing more with. And then of course, testing. Testing is the thing everyone hates about marketing, is that you have to try things out and fall on your face completely or fly magnificently. Testing is one of those things that you really have to figure out. And oftentimes, whatever you're trying to say or do could just use some minor tweaks and, and it will work thousand times better for you. One of the things that we say all of the time in the YouTube space is you're just a couple tweets away from massive success. And, and that's what applies literally to social media and everything else. So really think about like, what are some new fun things you've been wanting to try? Like maybe creating a gift library, using video or live streaming and figure out like, what is it that you can test to see will work for your audience best and figure out how to integrate that into your posting strategy. We went over a lot of benefits of using social media for your business, but now let's get you started on what you can do. I want you to watch this video I have for you right here. Where I'm going to break down for you what to do to get started with using Facebook right for your business and watch this video right here because YouTube thinks that you're really going to like it. And until next time, I will see you soon.